Jerry, please. Hello. Everybody can see this. Can you see this, sir? Okay. Today, the major topic for this presentation is we just try to explain our customers in our emerging market acceleration services why they are using, why we focus on emerging market. The reason is the like emerging market is very hot and then emerging, as you see. The first slide, we can see Basically, emerging market has really high growth rate. Growth rate means you know, population and the economy and internet prevalence, mobile prevalence, whatever. Everything is growing. And then active internet user, and then also spend time on the internet. This is the emerging market, the picture. And emerging market is for not today. Always they talk about and think about tomorrow. This is the emerging market. And that's why they are underdeveloping and really fastly. And then they are doing some evolutionary usage bursting in social media and then also mobile usage and then landline prevalence, also cable TV and IPTV prevalence too. So this is the emerging market is quite different, a specific. So let's see who are really growing in the emerging market and why Sid Network is, I mean, has focused on the emerging market. So this is our internet users the, as the January of this year and then versus 2014 and then 2015. So you see like some yellow. Yellow is like a bit developed and some stagnant region. But the pink is like fast growing the region. So you see like East Asia, because it includes China, grew more than 44 million internet users per year. And Southeast Asia, considering like just not, not less than 300 million population, but the growth is more than 20%, 51 million. And incredibly South Asia, because that includes India, like more than 150 million population for, I mean, internet users grow versus 2014 in 2015. Middle East is also hot, and then West Europe, East Europe is also very hot. So, Africa is also hot, but uh, infrastructure-wise, not advanced yet, and they need some time. So the South America is growing again. So the pink, sorry, the pink, the pink colors are our target and the emerging markets. So we are targeting and we are trying to support the customer who wants to go there, who wants to come from there. So this is our like the basic background why we target the emerging market. And this is another evidence and proof why we focus on the emerging market. So let's see, like South Asia, if the total population is big, and then global average, more than global average, everybody is something like doubles and one and a half growing per year. And East Asia, it's like somewhat developed and less than global average, and around the global average of its stagnant. See the Southeast Asia, except for Thailand, everybody is like two times and one and a half times growing than global average for GDP. GDP is gross domestic, the value added things per capita. So in China, of course, they are very, I mean, fastly growing, 8% something. This is another proof. So this is like the online traffic stream in the world, actually. So the China, China so far, a bit more than five years, six years, the major destination of all the traffic. 
from US, from Europe, online business and e-commerce, media, everything they are targeting for China. And, and East Asia is also one of the, some gateway between China and the US too. And recently, Middle East and India and Southeast Asia also generating traffic toward US, China, and then also Europe. So the Middle East and India is quite hard to getting up. The reason is they are developing media and the news even and e-commerce. And finally, South America is also making a lot of traffic, most likely social media and the mobile. So in conclusion, in CD networks like internal analysis and some outside very neutral data, we got the conclusion like mobile game and an SNS and media generate huge traffic all over the world. This is another quite interesting data we got. Uh, you see that? Like the developed countries like over here, and this is developing countries. Mobile traffic per percentage of total traffic. Developing countries, quite huge. Around 50%, more than 50%. And uh, this is mobile broadband users, such as 3G and 4G versus developed countries and underdeveloped countries. Still, like developing countries are suffering the prevalence of 3G and 4G, in, I mean, mobile user. So that means high mobile traffic, but less mobile broadband prevalence here. This is the quite important number because this is fixed internet speed. Fixed internet speed means average you guys using internet in your house, how you feel, the speed. So versus develop, developed countries, developing countries has like 20%, 30%, at max 50% like speed they are having now. And this is mobile prepaid user profile. Very surprisingly, versus developed, developed countries, the Southeast Asia, around 88-90% of mobile paid user by prepaid. No, yeah, prepaid car. So this is we can say like full fixed internet in Prague and higher prepaid mobile user in South Asia. This is another quite challenging fact. However, however, very poor mobile and fixed internet environment, quite surprisingly, online mobile shoppers in Southeast Asia, very importantly, growing fast. You see that? This blue line is e-commerce experience. Green line is mobile commerce shoppers experience. You see that before you remember, the fixed internet speed is quite slow and we paid a lot of prepaid users and no 3G, no 4G, but Southeast Asia shoppers are trying to buy something online. That's quite good. This is the reason the Sync City Network is focusing on Southeast Asia. So to summarize, the challenge is business environment is quite tough here. The, and then also internet and mobile infrastructure is not so advanced and also budget for IT service is not so big yet and local specific the languages quite different and by the country different regulation practice and different demands on online services so in this like several years result of Sydney talks I mean penetration in emerging market we are having quite nice product and suite and support. We target China, Southeast Asia, Russia with our product and services. So what, the first one, everybody knows maybe. So this is uh, number one Korean cosmetic brand. They are using our China delivery service. 
this all product and all the domains we are supporting into China. I've already specific the name of the customer. And this is also another brand for the Amore Pacific too. Everything, every website is targeting for Chinese user for the China. And the other customers we are having, we are supporting. Maybe the people know about Duty Free Shop. So this Duty Free Shop website, e-commerce website is also targeting for China. So we just supporting Lotte Duty Free Shop and Chilla also, very quite nice. And the other biggest and very important customer we have support is Q10. Maybe in Singapore, everybody knows. And even Malaysia and Indonesia, China, and then some uh, Hong Kong, Japan, they know the Q10. So they have six major cities, six major countries in the focus. So like Singapore and Malaysia, and Indonesia too. So in summary, the Q10, a six major focus countries we have supported, they have 250 million unique user visitor per month. And we are supporting their domestic and cross-bordering delivery too. So this is their profile, like the browser and OS. And the other customers, the line, Line is one of the global messenger. And the other customers, Kakao Top, this is also the global messenger too. They are generating a lot of traffic in South Asia, even Korea and then Japan. No, no, no Japan, Korea. And South Indonesia too. And China again. So finally, finally for the Russia, we have partners Megaphone, so using, uh, together with Megaphone, we have CDN infrastructure there, and then Megaphone has more than 500 websites themselves, and then also generating oh, quite big traffic. And Dora is our another strategic partner for emerging market, Turk, and then they also have more than 400 websites, and quite big traffic too. And then KDDI is our one of global partner, and then also our major shareholder, and more than 150 websites, and then very big traffic generated. So this is our results of like emerging market development so far. All these, uh, half of them, mainly in Southeast Asia, and then Europe, and the Middle East targeting. So this is a quite a good presence. And Seed Network is one of the global seed vendor, and like to help the customer in emerging market too. So if you have any contact, just send me email and visit the website. And then also until 3 p.m. or no, 4 p.m. today, we will be in the third floor suite. So thank you.